we will start lying on the mat. So, bringing the bottoms of our feet together in butterfly. We'll slowly lower ourselves down into a lying Shavasana. One vertebrae at a time, shoulders and head. Bringing one hand to our hearts, one hand to our bellies. Being aware of the hip opening that could be already starting. And in this pose, we'll take a few deep breaths in through the nose and we'll sigh it out through the mouth. Settling into the space. Settling into our bodies. And allowing the breath to assume its natural rhythm in and out through the nose. Running through a gentle body scan, taking note of energy and sensations along the way. Noticing areas of heaviness or lightness. Comfort and discomfort. Breathing in curiosity and breathing out competition, judgment, or expectation. Reminding ourselves to honor the state of our body in this moment as we flow through our practice. Bringing our awareness back to the space around us. We'll slowly bring our knees together, closing the legs. We'll hug the knees in gently to the chest. Wiggling the feet, perhaps we point and flex them, bringing awareness to the tops, bottoms of the feet, and fronts and backs of the calves and shins. Extending our arms wide in a T, and we'll slowly lower our legs to the right. And we'll gaze over to the left. Gentle spinal twist here. Bringing awareness to our spine. Bringing our legs back to center, and we'll come over to the left, gazing to the right. Gentle twist, gentle transition. Perhaps noticing different sensations along this side of the body. Breathing awareness, nourishing the spine, nourishing the lower back, perhaps even into the leg. Inhale, bringing our knees back to center. Gentle wiggle, rolling side to side as the body might be craving, wiggling out our feet again. And we'll slowly roll over and come into all fours, bringing our hands under our chest, our knees under our hips. And slowly bringing some awareness through gentle movement left to right of the hips, letting the head sway. Come 
starting to center. And with a gentle bend in the arms, we inhale, pressing the earth away, gazing up, flowing through cat and cow, bending at the knees, bending at the elbows, and pushing into the spine, gazing back towards our feet, letting our head hang heavy. Bending and pressing the earth away, arching the lower back, opening the abdomen. And then bending the elbows again and swaying through to curve into the spine, letting our head hang heavy. Flowing through a few more of these to our speed and our range of motion. Perhaps adding a bit of fluidity as the body warms up. Noticing the yummy sensations in the back and front body down the neck. One more. Good. We come back to neutral. Reaching our right arm alongside our ear, our left leg pushes back, extending, toes pressed into the mat, and we lift the left leg parallel to the floor. With the foot flexed, we're going to slowly open our left leg on a diagonal so long as the hips are square, holding here. Option to open the right arm on a diagonal. And then we have the option to bring our elbow to our knee. Inhale, extending back out, elbow to knee. Inhale, extend, exhale, bring it in. Slow and steady, changing our movement patterns, continuing to build gently. Presence in this moment, strength, and stability. Three more. We finish here, we reset, and let's roll it out. Moving intuitively, listening to what the body might be craving, Working into the sides of the body, the hips, the lower back, the neck, the arms. And we come back to neutral. We'll do the same thing on the other side. So left arm floats up alongside the ear. Right leg extends. Flexing the foot, driving the toes into the mat. And then we lift the right leg. We open it on a diagonal, we find our stability, and then we can open our left arm. Option to take a deep breath in and then exhale, crunching elbow to thigh, inhale, extending back out. Hips stay square, torso is parallel to the floor, neck is in alignment with the spine. Gentle activation of the abdomen, the glute, and all the way across the back. Good. And we come back to neutral. We'll roll ourselves the opposite direction. Moving the energy through. Ugh, coming to neutral. 
and we'll float through cat cow but coming up into down dog so one inch off the mat each time flowing gently we can add our elbow bend in as we go inhale pressing our chest up exhale we curl back under lifting our knees one inch each time engaging the core inhaling we arch the back exhale we round and lift going to our speed our range of motion gazing back engaging the core warming the entire body continuing to build strength in our upper body strength in our minds Perhaps we're even starting to elongate the breath. We'll do a few more. Making our way into our down dog. Slow and steady. Big breaths in. We meet up in down dog. Pedaling, shifting, again, whatever feels intuitive that the body might be craving. stillness here we'll lift our right hand and we'll reach it towards the left leg wherever it connects naturally for a gentle twist here feeling the energy down the outside of the left leg perhaps even across the lower back or down through the arm letting the head hang heavy calm steady rhythm of breath Good. Bringing the right hand back to the earth and we'll lift our left hand and we'll reach it across the right side. Connecting on the right leg. Feeling the strength build in our right side of the body, the arm, the upper back. And an opening, hopefully, down the side of the leg. Across the lower back and down the neck. Good. We bring our left hand to the earth. We can rinse that out, wiggling, pointing, flexing, shifting. Whatever feels good. Gazing forward, we'll slowly walk our feet into our hands, into forward fold. Hanging out here for a few breaths. Settling in, bending the knees as needed. Maybe we bring our hands to the inside of our elbows or perhaps we allow them just to fall naturally. We can sway, we can bend our knees left to right, whatever feels good. Listening to our bodies, honoring the state. Perhaps we move our head up and down, left to right. And then slowly we'll roll ourselves up, stacking the vertebrae one at a time, shoulders and head gently coming to standing. Rolling our shoulders up and back. Deep breath in between, we sigh it out. And we'll bring our hands over our head, interlacing the fingers, pressing the hands up to the sky, opening. 
Deep breath. Bringing the hips back underneath us. We deep breath in and we come over to the side, side bend, pressing the hips forward, finding that stability, breathing through the right side of the body. Calm and steady. Inhaling back to center, pressing the hands up. And exhaling over to the other side, side bend. Calm and steady. Good. Inhaling to center, reaching and pressing up. And then exhale, we swan dive forward. Hands to the earth, plank, chaturanga. Flowing through our vinyasa, upward facing or cobra, and we meet up in down dog. Good, we'll go through that again. Coming to standing. Good, creating space down the back of our bodies. Walking our feet into our hands, forward fold, inhale, halfway, flat back, drawing the shoulder blades together. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, we sweep the arms up. Palms together, we hold here. We interlace, pressing up to the sky, hollow hold. Inhale. Exhale, we curve, bringing the pelvis in, looking through our belly button. Inhale, we open. Exhale, we curve back in, chin to chest. Three more. Hollow hold, feeling the strength of our legs. The opening down the back, the neck, and the strength in our abdomen. As we exhale, drawing the belly button through. Good. Inhale, reaching up. Cactusing the arms, lifting our chest. Drawing the shoulder blades back to the spine. Beautiful. Inhale, reaching up. Exhale, swan dive forward, planting the hands, plank vinyasa. We meet up in down dog. Going to our speed. Pausing where possible or where needed. Finding the length down the back side of our body, pressing in to our heels, creating length through the legs and the neck. Good. Lifting our right leg off the earth. Pressing our weight through the left leg. We're going to snap through, crescent lunge, gazing forward, coming up on the toes, left foot. Bringing the right knee through. And inhaling all the way up, reaching the arms. Bringing the right knee over the ankle. The back leg is strong. Good. Hands to heart center. And we're going to bring our left elbow across the body, hinging forward into our twist. Pressing the left elbow into the thigh, gazing beyond the right elbow as possible. Feeling our hip activate, building strength and stability. Beautiful. Inhale, reaching up, crescent lunge, and coming into a warrior two. Finding the strength in our legs, planting that back foot, reaching our arms wide. Good. 
reversing our warrior, bringing our palm facing up. Left hand comes to our back leg, keeping our strong lunge legs. And we windmill the arms, coming into a side angle, bringing our right arm to our right thigh, reaching our left arm up, checking in with our hips. The left glute is engaged. Pressing forward. Good. Pivoting back into our crescent lunge up on the back toes, reaching our arms high. And we're going to come into a warrior three. So hinging down, reaching forward, lifting that back leg off the earth, either reaching our arms forward or alongside the body, whatever feels most stabilizing, hips are square, foot is flexed, toes are pointed down. Beautiful. We're gonna bring our hands to the earth, we step back, plank vinyasa to finish this sequence. We meet up in our down dog and we rinse it out before doing the other side. Yummy. Lifting our left leg off the earth, pressing our weight through the right leg, through the right heel into the mat. Gazing forward, we come up on the toes of the right foot, we step through, hugging the knee in, crescent lunge, reaching our arms up, finding the knee stacked over the ankle, strengthening through the back leg, tall torso. Bringing our hands to heart center. And we'll gently twist and hinge over the left leg. Pressing the elbow into the thigh, gazing beyond the elbow. Good, and we reach the arms back up, crescent lunge. And we pivot, planting the back foot, reaching our arms parallel to the floor, warrior two. Checking in with our legs, our glutes are engaged. Rotating our front palm upwards, we come into a reverse warrior. Milling the arms forward, side angle, reaching the top arm up, finding length between the fingertips down through the body and down into the foot. Not collapsing, the glutes are still engaged, pressing the hip underneath us. Good. We come back to center through our crescent lunge up on the back toes, we reach up. And then slowly we shift our weight forward, hinging into our warrior three, lifting our back leg, flexing the foot, pressing the leg back. Parallel to the floor, we have the option to reach our arms back or forwards. Good. And then bringing our hands to the earth, Plank, vinyasa, we meet up in down dog, taking our time, building strength as we go, and rinsing it out when we get here. Yummy. 
Grabbing a sip of water as desired. And then we set up for our next sequence. Gazing forward, we walk up into our forward fold again. And we're going to sweep our arms alongside the body and come into a chair. We can see our toes beyond our knees. We draw the abdomen back. We curl our tailbone underneath us. We reach forward or upwards. Good. Finding a stable chair, we bring our palms together through heart center and we're going to twist again. First over to the right, keeping our hips forward facing. We bring the elbow to the thigh. We press up, elongating through the spine while gently twisting, maintaining our calm, steady rhythm of breath. Option to hold here. Option to open our arms up and down. Engaging through the back. Feeling each breath expand the rib cage. Good. Bringing our hands back to heart center. We inhale through chair. Exhale all the way up through standing mountain. Hands to heart center. Deep breath here. Sigh it out. We reset. Checking in with our heartbeat. Good. Inhale, coming into our chair. Finding stability, checking with our toes, drawing our abdomen back through the spine. Hands to heart center. And we twist opposite direction. Gently hinging, gently twisting, maintaining our stable chair. Hips are square, forward facing. Pressing the palms together, helping to find length through the spine. Opening our arms as desired. Feeling the energy across the back. Good. Bringing the hands back together. Inhaling through chair. Exhaling all the way up. Extended mountain. Hands to heart center. Deep breath here. Sigh it out. And we reset. Noticing the rhythm of our heartbeat and our breath. Perhaps taking a moment to bring awareness to an intention. Perhaps some resolution. Or a challenge that we're working through. Setting our mind to it, bringing it to the mat so that we can process it. And come out a little more clear-headed on the other side. Inhale, reaching our arms up. Exhale, we swan dive forward. Plank, vinyasa, meeting up in down dog. Good. Lifting the right leg off the earth. We're going to come through some planks. Inhale, bringing our right knee to our chest. Exhale, single leg down dog. We extend the right leg back. Inhale, 
knee to chest. Exhale, extend. Same, the leg down dog. Inhale, plank. Exhale, down dog. Finding our flow. Feeling our resilience. Feeling the whole body engaged here. With slow, gentle movements. Building our strength and our stability. Last one here. And we'll come into a fallen star, bringing that right leg all the way underneath us, opening our left arm, planting our left foot, pressing into the earth, lifting our hips, finding stability here. Calm, steady rhythm of breath. Two more. We've got this. And we release, bringing the hand to the earth, hugging our right knee back through our chest and extending it in our down dog. Oh. And we release the right leg. We rinse this out. Good. Coming into child's pose to take the weight off of our hands for a moment. Option to grab a sip of water as we rinse that out before doing the other side. Good. Inhaling, coming back through all fours, lifting into down dog. And this time we'll lift our left leg off the earth. And we float into our plank on the inhalation, hugging our left knee to our nose. And then we exhale, extending the leg back. Inhaling to plank, exhaling, extending back, feeling, opening down the back of the right leg, strength of our upper body, building our glutes gently, slow and steady. Focusing on our resilience. Last one. And we come into our fallen star. Extend the left leg through underneath. Reaching our right arm up. Planting our right foot. Big extension here. Finding the strength of our left side. Channeling our energy, channeling our determination. Building strength through our wobbles. Good. And we bring our right hand back to the earth. We curl our left knee back into our chest, pivoting our right foot and extending the left leg high. We release, we rinse this out, we come into child's pose as desired. We celebrate our achievements thus far.
Good. Inhaling through all fours, back into our down dog. Curling our toes under our shins, lifting our hips. Pressing our weight through our heels. And we lift our right leg off the earth. Good, stepping through low lunge this time. We're gonna bring our left knee to the earth, flattening the foot. We have the option to shift our weight left to right. Good, coming to center, low lunge here, and we reach our arms all the way off the earth, sinking into the front hip flexor, cactusing the arms as an option, finding our stability. Reaching our arms up. Sinking a little further. Good. Curling our toes under our shin, supporting ourselves, lifting our back knee off the earth, coming into our high crescent lunge and warrior two, pivoting here. Knee is stacked over the ankle. Good. Rotating our palm up, reverse warrior. Good. And side angle. Yummy. Good. Pivoting ourselves forward. We're going to bring our hands behind our back, holding our warrior lunge legs. Lifting our chest, lifting our arms, and then slowly hinging forward into our humble warrior. Lifting our arms as we lower our chest to the inside of the right leg, holding our strength in the right leg. Beautiful, releasing our arms, planting the hands, plank, chaturanga, we meet up in down dog. Finishing the sequence, rinsing out before we do the other side. Lifting our left leg off the earth. Gazing forward, we step through low lunge, left leg, bringing the right knee to the earth, flattening the foot. We can shift left to right here, getting a sense of what's happening in the front hip flexor. And we have the option to come to a tall torso, bringing our arms off the earth. Sinking forward, holding ourselves here. Using the strength of the left leg to not collapse into the right hip flexor. Cactusing the arms is an option, lifting the chest, lifting the gaze. Reaching up, we curl the back toes under our leg. We lift our back knee off the earth. Crescent lunge to warrior two. God, checking in, our knee is stacked over our ankle. Our back leg is nice and strong. Rotating our front palm. 
Coming into our reverse warrior. Feeling the strength we're building. Perhaps even heat that we might be generating with these long, slow holds. Good. Side angle pose, keeping the glutes engaged, reaching long. Trying to stay in the leg strength, not collapsing. Good, and we pivot our torso forward, holding our lunged position of our legs, interlacing our hands behind the back, drawing the shoulder blades in, lifting the arms, elongating the spine, and then hinging forward, humble warrior. Feeling the strength of the left leg, lifting our arms as possible, lowering our heads, bowing. We mount into the pose and the moment, surrendering ourselves to the here and now. Releasing our hands, plank, vinyasa, we meet up in our down dog. Gazing forward, we walk our feet into our hands, we come into our forward fold. We're going to roll ourselves all the way up, rolling our shoulders, lifting our head. Taking our right leg, we're going to come into a tree pose, wherever the foot connects or we can cross it over. We're going to come into a chair tree, so crossing the leg or tucking it into the inner thigh, reaching our arms up, holding here, feeling the strength of our legs, feeling stability and presence in this moment. Maybe we sink a little lower. Good. When we come up, we release our leg to 90 degrees. We're going to eagle the left arm under the right. We can hold here or we can float into a warrior three. Bringing our torso and leg parallel to the floor. Working our stability. Good. Coming back up 90 degree leg. Reaching the arms up. Opening our right leg out and bringing it back to the earth we release. We'll do the same thing on the other side. Rinsing this out. And we bring the left foot inside or we cross it over the right leg. When we're ready, we lower into our chair, reaching our arms forward. Keeping our arms extended or bringing them into heart center, whatever feels good. Perhaps we lower a little bit more into our chair. Good. Coming up to standing, we bring 
our left knee up to 90 degrees, flexing our foot. We bring the right arm under the left. We eagle the arms. We have the option holding here. We have the option to flow into warrior three. Whatever helps us build mentally and physically. Good. Coming back to 90 degrees with our leg, we reach our arms up. We open our left leg, we circle it, and we bring it to the earth. We release our arms, and we roll all of that out. Yummy. Perhaps we take a moment to shake, to bounce, to move the energy, to shift any residual energy that might be stagnant, not serving us, that could relate to emotions, thoughts, just letting it move through, letting it be processed in its own time, creating space for something new to come in. Good. And we bring our hands to heart center. Just listening to the body, running through a body scan from head to toe. Smiles on our faces. Perhaps we reflect on an intention we may have set or a reason that we came to the mat today. Perhaps we set an intention for the hours and days ahead always working to maintain presence in each moment as the only gift that we have so we maximize it we cherish it thank you for joining me today for moving your body for releasing energy building strength and confidence. I wish you a beautiful continuation. Namaste.